for the month of Jan. I think it's working. So I click OK here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious, why are we trying to change the number sequence? Yeah. So you can see this is, I'll come to that. This is the report. So, why are we trying to do that? You know, the reason was, you know, we got an error. It said this number sequence was already used. So we just deleted the hung number sequence and then we will give a different format. So it started working. Right? That is what we are done. So if we go to our settlement periods now and see for our first settlement period, that is, what is our first settlement period? The first settlement period is first of Jan, so that is first of Jan. And click on the sales tax payment, we'll be able to see that there is one sales tax settlement happened in this period. Correct? The sum date is 1 1 2015 to 1 31 2015. If you click on the OSHA here, you'll be able to see the complete OSHA. What is the input tax? What is the output tax? All those things you can see here. You can also see your summary account, which is your, uh, which is your uh, GST. Uh, the, the sales tax authority. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I close this now. I go to the authorities here. This is our vendor account, A007. Go to the view details. This vendor you can click on the transactions and you'll see a transaction here. The balance is final plan. We need to pay to the this vendor. The vendor is sales tax commissioner. Right? So I can close this now. You can also go to the invoices here. I can click on set to open transaction. I can see that there is an open invoice as well for which we can make our payment like we did it in our previous session. We just have to mark this and we have to make a payment. That's all.